Hello, everybody, and welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. And we are in our guest segment today, and we have a couple of special guests joining us. We have Bill. He's our interim public works director here for the city of Fitchburg. And we have Zia here from Urban Assets. So thank you both for joining us. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming North Fish Hatchery Road reconstruction project that's going to be going on. So thanks again for coming on. I really appreciate you taking some time to get the people informed about important stuff going on here in their city. Uh, so Bill, just kind of to start out, if you want to touch on sort of what is this project all about, just you know, at the high level, what, what are we looking at here? Sure, um, we're looking at reconstructing Fish Hatchery Road from uh, Greenway Cross all the way down to McKee Road. Uh, it would be a full reconstruction, about $19 million, uh, take place over two years, uh, with construction starting late in 19, all the way through 20 and then a little bit in 21. So um, that's what we're looking at. It's, yeah. it's a big project. What were some of the, you know, the things that made this project necessary to take on right now? So what are we, you know, what, what's the reason for the project mostly? Well, if you've driven down the road recently, you've seen all the potholes or felt sure. them. Sure. And uh, the, the pavement's at its life's end and we need to get that replaced or, or repaved. And we looked at the different uh, opportunities that we had along the corridor with uh, with new business opportunities, with uh, looking at enhancing some safety at intersections, and said so this is a really good time to get that done. Awesome, yeah, so it's just kind of good time to get it done and kind of the natural life of the road, that's the way, the roads need repairs, right? Right. So there you go. Uh, and obviously this is kind of a, a big part of the city of Fitchburg, a lot of people use this road, and so we want to keep the public informed and, you know, in the know of what's going on with this project since people will see it happening. Uh, so you are all going to have sort of public meetings and to keep people engaged, how is that going to work out? Yeah, so um, we have a pretty robust public engagement process mm -hmm. planned. Um, so the process will go through about spring of next year. Uh, we have three public meetings planned. The first one is coming up on August 22nd, okay. and that'll be at the library in the main meeting room. Uh, that'll be 5.30 to 7.30 um, p.m. And then we'll have two additional meetings, one sort of in the middle of the process to share um, what the preliminary design is, sure. and then one at the end, um, closer to next spring, where we'll be sharing the final design. And um, those, in addition to um, monthly meetings with a mm -hmm. community liaison team sure. um, of about 25 folks who are very connected throughout the community, um, are really going to help the project engineers figure out, you know, what are all the what are all the improvements that we're sure. going to make as part of this project. So. Um, we really want people to be involved. There are many things that we know need to be improved. There are many things that uh, we probably don't know. So it's, right, we, we really want to hear from people. Yeah. Uh, are there any things that you guys are still working on kind of figuring out as far as the project that people should maybe have in mind that you definitely want to hear back about early on in the process? Do you know? I mean, I think we're interested in, in hearing sort of ground truthing, if you will, um, what are our assumptions about what are the the intersections um, that that need improvement sure. and why, what are some of the um, crossings that people are really concerned about. Um, we're interested in hearing how people feel about streetscape improvements, mm -hmm. you know, to what level um, are sort of the aesthetic elements included in this project. Um, certainly the whole multimodal perspective, vehicles, mm -hmm. um, pedestrians, bikes, buses. Sure. Yeah. Great. So it's great things for people to kind of keep in mind to think about if they end up coming to these meetings. Yep. To think about in the meantime. Uh, and then between the meetings, if people want to kind of stay up to date and stay informed, uh, is there places that they can go to get information regularly about the project? Yes, yeah, so there's a city project website, which I think you guys will mm -hmm. put on air, and um, that will be regularly updated. We'll have all of the public meeting information on there. Um, also on the city's website, you can sign up for regular email or text updates uh, through Notify Me, and that's okay. a great system. So anytime we have um, a public meeting or an announcement about the project, it'll go up there and you'll get an immediate update. Uh, the city also will have information out on their Facebook page and um, other social media. And 
Let me see if I'm missing anything. We will be doing mailings um, okay. to folks within approximately a quarter mile of the corridor, sometimes okay. sometimes a little further out. So there are many ways, yeah, yeah. for and folks to... Of course, I would. I should, of course, mention, we'll, we'll always try and do our best to get the information out yes. to you right here on this channel and the rest of our channels and, uh, that we can. Yep. So uh, that's kind of an overview of the, the North Fish Hatchery Road reconstruction. Is there anything I didn't ask you about that the people need to know right now? So I would hate to leave anything important out. I think, I think um, for us, we just want to really encourage people to come to that kickoff meeting on yes. August 22nd. August 22nd. Um, we'll have a presentation beginning at 545, but, but people can come in starting at 530, um, see some of the exhibits that the engineers have put together. And um, this is really our, our first opportunity to hear what it sure. what it is the public would like to see happen with this reconstruction awesome well i can't wait uh, to see you know how this all goes i think it's going to be a, a good project it's a big project uh, excited to to watch it all take place so thank you so much for coming on and letting the people know what's going on out there uh, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll come back and wrap up the show here on talking pittsburgh